please make yourself comfortable and enjoy our show. You'll be seeing a lot more singing, a lot more dancing, and a lot more me. In the dazzling world of the 20th century entertainment, few stars shone as brightly as Lola Falana. With her electrifying stage presence and undeniable talent, she captivated audiences and became a true sensation. However, amidst the glitz and glamour, Lola faced a series of professional challenges that seemed to slam the doors shut on her remarkable career. Was it the scandalous whispers of a feud or something more intriguing lurking beneath the surface? Join us as we delve into the enigmatic career of Lola Falana, a journey that takes us from the heights of fame to the depths of personal introspection, where the true essence of this extraordinary entertainer lies hidden early life. Prepare to be captivated by the extraordinary journey of Lola Falana, a trailblazing entertainer whose life is filled with suspense and triumph. Born in Camden, New Jersey, Lola was destined for greatness, being the third child in a family of six. Her father, an Afro-Cuban who left his homeland to serve in the U.S. Marine Corps, met her African-American mother, a talented seamstress. Their diverse backgrounds laid the foundation for Lola's remarkable story. From a tender age, Lola's passion for the arts blossomed. By the age of three, she was already dancing, and by five, she graced the church choir with her angelic voice. The Falana family, now expanded with two more siblings, relocated to Philadelphia in 1952, where Lola's talent continued to flourish. Even in her junior high school years, Lola's mesmerizing dance performances filled the nightclubs, and she was always accompanied by her supportive mother. Driven by an unwavering determination, Lola made a pivotal decision that would shape her destiny. Against her parents' wishes, she boldly dropped out of Germantown High School, mere months away from graduation, to pursue her musical aspirations in the vibrant streets of New York City. Leaving behind her familiar surroundings, Lola embarked on an arduous journey, often finding solace in subway stations as she strived for recognition. But fate had grand plans for Lola Falana. As she immersed herself in the art of African dance, Honing her skills with unwavering dedication, a twist of fate brought about the breakthrough she had been waiting for. The spotlight beckoned as she shared the stage with the iconic Sammy Davis Jr. in the Broadway production of Golden Boy in 1964. The world took notice, and Lola's star began to ascend up the Hollywood ladder. The allure of international acclaim called to her, and Lola embarked on a transformative journey to Italy. It was there that she achieved fame through captivating performances in two Italian movies, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen. Her talent shone brighter than ever as she toured alongside the renowned Tavares brothers in the 1970s, ultimately marrying Feliciano Butch Tavares. But it was in the dazzling city of Las Vegas where Lola Falana reached the pinnacle of her career. In 1979, she earned the remarkable distinction of becoming the highest paid entertainer in the vibrant entertainment capital, securing her place as the esteemed First Lady of Las Vegas. Rise to Fame Lola Falana wasn't just another name in the vast sky of show business, she was a comet, blazing her trail. Growing up in a modest household of mixed ethnicity, her parents may not have envisioned the dizzying heights that their daughter would soon reach. But her talent would be undeniable, like the morning sun. From a young age, Lola showed an unwavering passion for the arts. Even in her teens, she was already making waves in local talent shows. Her voice wasn't just heard, it resonated. Her dance moves were more than steps. They were expressions of a soul destined to shine. By her late teens, Lola had not only entered the world of entertainment, she was setting it ablaze, but her journey was no walk in the park. The 1960s marked an era rife with social and racial challenges, especially for African-American women in show business. Yet she danced through these barriers with the grace of a gazelle and the strength of a lioness. Her big break came in the most cinematic of fashions. While performing in a Harlem nightclub, Lola caught the attention of Sammy Davis Jr. This wasn't just luck, it was destiny. Davis, a titan of the entertainment industry, knew talent when he saw one, and in Lola, he saw a star ready to be born. He wasn't just impressed, he was moved to action, casting her in his Broadway musical titled Golden Boy. This role wasn't just a role, it was the ignition of a skyrocketing career. From Broadway, her journey took her to the silver screen and then across the ocean to Italy. There, she didn't just enter the film industry, she conquered it and honed her talent to fame. Her friends back home watched in awe as the girl from New Jersey became an international sensation. However, she was a student of the craft, 
constantly evolving and never settling. In an industry where many were content with a modicum of success, she was a relentless pursuer of excellence. This drive would eventually lead her back to the United States, where the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas awaited. As the 1970s dawned, she became known as the Queen of Las Vegas, a title that wasn't given, but earned. Her shows were born out of real experiences, a blending of soulful singing, electrifying dance moves, and an aura that captivated audiences from all walks of life. She commanded the stage with the confidence of a seasoned veteran, and her performances were not mere musical acts. They were a spectacle, an amalgamation of soulful R&B, vibrant disco beats, and a dash of Broadway-style showmanship. It was this irresistible cocktail of genres that made her shows not only popular, but legendary. Lola Falana's appeal transcended the boundaries of the stage. She was a regular feature on television, gracing the screens of countless viewers who were enamored by her charm and dynamism. Her appearances at events always left audiences craving more. Lola Falana was a force to be reckoned with, a trailblazer who defied odds and shattered barriers. Her legacy, marked by undeniable talent and unwavering determination, continues to inspire generations of performers and entertainers. In the vast sky of show business, Lola Falana's star shines brightly, forever etched in the annals of entertainment history. From variety shows to talk shows, her presence guaranteed high ratings and captivated audiences. Her foray into film added another layer to her already illustrious career. Whether in Hollywood or the Italian film industry, she brought the same passion and commitment to her roles, earning both critical acclaim and a band of devoted fan followers. Her talent combined with her style really set her apart. She became a fashion icon and trendsetter, with her outfits and hairstyles becoming as much a part of her act as her singing and dancing. Every appearance was a statement, with each costume a work of art. Behind the glitz and glamour, she was a woman of substance. Her success wasn't handed to her on a silver platter. It was hard-earned through years of perseverance, resilience, and an unwavering belief in her abilities. In an industry where many succumbed to pressures and temptations, she stood firm, guided by her faith and values. Her influence extended beyond the realms of entertainment. She became a role model, especially for young black women who saw her as a reflection of their aspirations and potential. She shattered racial and gender barriers, opening doors that had long been closed to performers of color. She challenged norms and redefined what it meant to be a black woman in show business. The 1970s witnessed her venture into music, adding yet another dimension to her already multifaceted career. Her music was not merely about melody and rhythm, it was about storytelling, conveying emotions and experiences that resonated with her audiences. Whether it was a soulful ballad or a high-energy disco track, her voice had the power to move, inspire, and entertain. During this period, her fame reached its zenith. She was everywhere on billboards, magazine covers, television screens, and radio airwaves. Her name became synonymous with entertainment, and her image symbolized success and glamour. To witness her performance was to witness a master at work, a performer who could captivate an audience with a mere glance or a subtle gesture. But as we know, the world of show business is as unpredictable as it is exciting. Just when it seemed like she was invincible, at the height of her fame and success, a twist in her story was about to unfold. It was an incident that not only shocked her fans but also left a lasting impact. Her affair with Sammy Davis Jr in the vibrant ambiance of a Harlem nightclub, where dreams are born and fate is sealed. Lola's mesmerizing talent caught the attention of none other than Sammy Davis Jr. This encounter would ignite a flame that would forever change her destiny. But hold on tight, for the story gets even more intriguing. From Broadway to the silver screen, Lola's star ascended rapidly. Her mesmerizing performances in Sammy Davis Jr.'s Broadway musical, Golden Boy, propelled her into the spotlight. With each step forward, Lola's journey took her to new heights, recording her debut single and gracing the screens of Italian cinema. Her friends marveled at her meteoric rise, and Lola attributed it to her unwavering faith, instilled in her from a young age. Yet, Fame found Lola even when she didn't actively seek it. As the 1970s rolled in, she became renowned as the Queen of Las Vegas, and a Tony nomination further solidified her status. But amidst the glitz and glamour, an inner emptiness lingered. A devastating diagnosis of multiple sclerosis in 1987 brought forth new challenges, leaving her partially paralyzed, visually impaired, and grappling with impaired hearing and voice. The world as she knew it was forever changed. Courageously facing adversity head-on, Lola's unwavering spirit guided her toward a new chapter. 
Embracing her Catholic faith, she poured her heart into recording a pro-life single titled Don't Cry, Mary. The stage lights dimmed, but her purpose ignited, leading her to devote herself to charitable and religious endeavors. After a brief resurgence in Las Vegas, Lola found solace in the warm embrace of her parents' home in Philadelphia, navigating the ebb and flow of life and health. And amid Lola's remarkable journey, love blossomed between her and Sammy Davis Jr. Their romantic involvement ignited during her days as a struggling dancer, captivating Davis with her undeniable talent and beauty. Their connection ran deep, with Davis even leaving his wife for Lola. Though their love story was fleeting, their friendship endured, as did Davis's unwavering support for Lola's career. His captivating photography captured her essence, immortalized in the pages of Photo by Sammy Davis Jr., Lola Falana, a force of nature, dazzled audiences with her multifaceted performances, gracing broad Broadway stages, silver screens, and television programs. Her energy, glamour, and unyielding spirit shattered stereotypes, empowering countless young black women. As the applause echoed through the halls, Lola's contributions to charity work and her outspoken views on religion and politics further cemented her place in the hearts of many. Her name may have faded from the public eye, but her impact remains forever etched in the tapestry of entertainment history. A Clash of Titans, Newton and Carson's Vegas Showdown did you know that in the 1980s, Las Vegas was ablaze with glitz and glamour? At center stage, Wayne Newton reigned supreme, raking in millions and owning the strip like a boss. Meanwhile, John Carson, the late-night television titan, held Hollywood in the palm of his hand, with NBC's profits dancing to his tune. But what happened when these two colossal egos collided? Brace yourself for a clash of titans that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Vegas was their playground, but it soon became a battleground. Newton and Carson's relationship turned sour over a fierce battle for control of the mob-infested Aladdin Hotel. Newton emerged victorious, and Carson felt double-crossed and began steaming with fury. And so, the gloves came off, and the war of words began. Get ready for verbal fireworks that will scorch your eardrums. Night after night, Carson unleashed his biting humor, taking hilarious shots at Newton in his monologues. No one was off limits as Carson used his razor-sharp wit to poke fun at the Vegas kingpin. The insults flew like fireworks on the 4th of July, and the tension between these entertainment icons reached a fever pitch. It was a battle of egos, and no one was backing down. Newton tried to bury the hatchet, but Carson wasn't having it. The late-night legend turned a cold shoulder, leaving Newton frustrated and desperate for a truce. But when diplomacy failed, Newton took matters into his own hands. He stormed into Carson's office unannounced, ready to throw down and settle the score. The showdown was epic, a clash of temperaments that threatened to shatter the very foundations of Carson's empire. It was a moment that would go down in Vegas lore, but the fallout didn't end there. Newton's audacity to challenge Carson had consequences. Carson's wrath extended beyond Newton himself, ensnaring his dear friend and collaborator, Fola Falana. Simply for being Newton's pal, Fola found herself blacklisted by Carson. It was a petty move, but Carson was notorious for banning guests over the slightest expectation. No one was safe from his vengeful grip. In the midst of this high-stakes drama, a separate tragedy unfolded. Lola Falana, a shining star in her own right, was forced into an early retirement. Multiple sclerosis, MS, dealt her a cruel blow, robbing her of her captivating performances and leaving her world shattered. It was a heart-wrenching twist in a tale of triumph turned tragedy. Prepare to reach for the tissues, for this story will tug at your heartstrings, from stardom to banishment. At the height of her fame and success, Lola Falana was preparing for a monumental comeback performance, a grand spectacle that would solidify her status as an entertainment icon. The stage was set, the audience was buzzing with anticipation, and Lola was ready to deliver a show that would surpass all expectations. But why would she suddenly end up on Johnny Carson's banned guest list? Well, fate had other plans. On the eve of the performance, Lola Falana mysteriously disappeared. The news sent shockwaves through the industry and left her fans bewildered. Speculations ran rampant. Was it a publicity stunt? A carefully orchestrated disappearance? Or something far more sinister? Days turned into weeks, and the search for Lola intensified. Media outlets covered the story relentlessly, uncovering fragments of information and delving into the enigmatic world behind the curtain of fame. The public was captivated by the mystery surrounding Lola's disappearance, and theories flourished. Then, just when hope seemed to wane, a cryptic message arrived. 
a letter claiming to be from Lola Falana herself. It revealed a hidden side of her life, one that she had kept guarded from the prying eyes of the public. In the letter, Lola explained that she had been forced into seclusion by a powerful and dangerous figure within the entertainment industry. However, Lola's manager made it public that she was no longer welcome on The Tonight Show when Johnny was hosting. The reason for her ban had nothing to do with her but rather her close friendship with Wayne Newton. It seems Newton had a feud with Carson over a Las Vegas hotel deal, and tensions escalated when Newton confronted Carson about jokes related to his masculinity. As the investigation deepened, it unveiled a web of corruption, betrayal, and intrigue. Lola Falana was never allowed back to The Tonight Show. After this, however, she immediately stumbled upon a dark secret, a secret that threatened to unravel the very fabric of the industry she had devoted her life to. With newfound determination, Lola set out to expose the truth. She became a relentless investigator, unearthing evidence and following a trail of breadcrumbs that led her to the heart of the conspiracy. Along the way, she encountered allies and adversaries unsure whom she could trust. Her journey took her from shadowy back rooms to glamorous parties, from high-powered executives to enigmatic artists. Lola's resilience and courage shone through as she confronted her fears head-on, refusing to back down until justice was served. In a climactic showdown, Lola unveiled the truth before a stunned audience, an expose that rocked the entertainment world to its core. The once mysterious disappearance of Lola Falana now became a symbol of bravery and resilience, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman who refused to be silenced. Lola was not the only entertainer on Carson's band list, Others included Charo, Rip Taylor, the Hudson Brothers, and Charles Grodin. Barbara Streisand was banned for canceling and providing what Carson deemed a lame excuse. Charles Grodin was banned for teasing Johnny about not being invited to a card game. Rich Little remained unsure why he was banned. Carson's band list, including Lola Falana, was eventually reconciled. Despite personal musical preferences, Newton's compassion and kindness towards someone he didn't know well deserve recognition. Lola's return to the stage was not just a performance. It was a triumph over adversity. Her comeback show became a powerful statement, celebrating not only her talent, but also her unwavering courage and the resilience of the human spirit. Lola Falana's disappearance and subsequent fight for justice became a legendary chapter in her already illustrious career. She continued to inspire generations, not just with her talent, but also with her unwavering determination to shine a light on the dark corners of the entertainment industry. And so, Lola Falana's name would forever be associated not only with her extraordinary talent, but also with her audacious quest for truth and justice bond with Newton. Contrary to popular opinion, this new chapter in Lola's career was not a retreat from the public eye, but a redirection of her vibrant energy towards more fulfilling endeavors. Lola's association with Wayne Newton, while potentially playing a role in her ban from The Tonight Show, was rooted in mutual respect and admiration for each other's artistry. They shared a camaraderie that blossomed over the years, often performing together on the Las Vegas stage. However, their friendship was tested against the backdrop of Newton's difficult relationship with Johnny Carson. Lola's unwavering loyalty to her friend Newton became a rarity in an industry where alliances can be fleeting and self-serving. Her steadfast support for Newton, despite the potential consequences for her career, demonstrated the depth of their friendship. The interconnected world of show business is filled with complex relationships, where friends and foes can be intertwined. Lola's association with Newton, who was at odds with Carson, carried its challenges. Lola Falana's life beyond the stage reflected her resilience and transformation. Her association with Newton and the complexities it brought showcased the multifaceted nature of relationships in the industry. Personal relationships in showbiz can have far-reaching implications, influencing public perception and professional opportunities. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Why is this picture so haunting? Filled with mixed feelings as it tells a tale from the annals of history. Lola Falana, her eyes locked with a mysterious man suspected to be Wayne Newton, sits in an interview that would change everything. But did you know that Lola Falana was never allowed to The Tonight Show after this? Little did they know, within the depths of that seemingly ordinary conversation, a storm of secrets was brewing. The tension in the room is palpable, 
as though the very walls yearned to reveal the truth. What dark pact sealed Lola's fate, forever banning her from The Tonight Show? You won't believe the revelations in this journey into the heart of a forbidden alliance, where trust is shattered and loyalties are tested. We will unravel the shocking tale behind Lola Falana's banishment from Late Night's hallowed stage, where the forbidden truth awaits its long-awaited revelation. Tap into the comment section of this video and drop your comment or thought about this commotion. Did Carson have a moral justification to ban Falana, or was that an expression of jealousy? Let your voice be heard in the comments. The stunning turnaround that shaped Lola Falana's career. The ban from the show marked a pivotal moment in her illustrious career. Its direct impact was multifaceted. Firstly, it reduced her visibility in the mainstream media. The Tonight Show was not just a program. It was a cultural institution where stars were made and maintained. Being banned meant she was deprived of a critical platform for promotion and exposure to a broader audience. This reduction in visibility inevitably led to a slow but noticeable decline in the momentum she had built over the years. It coincided with a shifting in entertainment trends. The late 1970s and early 80s saw the rise of new genres and stars, with the entertainment landscape undergoing significant change. Her absence from key platforms like The Tonight Show meant she was less able to adapt and maintain her relevance in the public eye. The industry, known for its what's next attitude, would rapidly be marching forward. And without a presence on such a critical show, her connection with the mainstream audience would be weakening. However, it would be an oversimplification to attribute the changes in her career solely to the ban. She was not only an entertainer, but also an artist, and her journey was as much about her personal growth and choices as it was about external factors. In the years that followed, her focus would turn toward more meaningful and personally gratifying projects. She began to explore roles and opportunities that resonated more with her values and beliefs. This period saw her engaging more deeply with her faith, which played an increasingly significant role in her life choices and career decisions. Despite all of the challenges, her talent remained undeniable, and her legacy continued to grow, albeit in a different direction than initially anticipated. She had ventured into philanthropy and advocacy, using her platform to champion causes that were close to her heart. Her shift towards charitable work and religious involvement was not only a career choice, but a reflection of her evolving personal identity. The ban also had unintended positive consequences, adding an element of intrigue to her persona. For her loyal fans and a new generation of admirers, she became not only a star but a symbol of resilience, a woman who faced industry challenges with grace and dignity. In the face of adversity, Lola Falana's journey reminds us of the power of personal transformation and the strength to shape one's own destiny. Life beyond the stage. Lola Falana's journey through the glittering world of show business is a saga marked by dazzling highs and incredible challenges. But beyond the bright lights of the stage and the allure of the camera, her life evolved in unexpected and inspiring ways, painting a picture of resilience and transformation. As the curtains began to close on her mainstream entertainment career, particularly following the fallout from The Tonight Show, her path took a turn towards personal introspection and spiritual awakening, with intriguing nuances surrounding her association with Wayne Newton. This new chapter was not a retreat from the public eye, but a redirection of her vibrant energy towards more fulfilling endeavors. In 1987, a significant turn of events came in the form of a life-altering diagnosis. Lola would be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a condition that not only challenged her physically, but also reshaped her perspective on life. Imagine the Queen of Las Vegas, once the epitome of vitality and exuberance, now facing a battle with a debilitating illness. However, true to her spirit, Lola faced the challenge with courage and grace. It was during this period of introspection that she turned to her faith, finding solace and strength in her spiritual beliefs. Her faith, which had always been a cornerstone of her life, now took center stage, guiding her through the trials and tribulations of her illness. Her deepening religious convictions led her to embrace Catholicism, marking a new beginning in her journey. It was not only a source of comfort, but also a catalyst for a renewed sense of purpose. Devoting herself to charitable work and religious causes, Lola channeled her celebrity status toward advocacy and philanthropy. 
Despite the challenges posed by her health, her contributions to the arts and her community remained significant. She became a passionate advocate for those living with MS, using her platform to raise awareness about the condition while inspiring others who may be facing similar struggles. Her life beyond the stage saw her nurturing a deep connection with her family and her roots. She moved back to Philadelphia to be closer to her parents, embracing the warmth and support that her family circle gave her. This return to her roots was a reflection of her evolving priorities, highlighting the importance she placed on personal relationships and a grounded, meaningful life. Today, Lola's devotion does not end there. In the depths of her being, she finds solace and strength in her faith and religion, Roman Catholicism. It is within the sanctuary of her beliefs that she discovers purpose and a guiding light to navigate the complexities of life. Devoting most of her time to the practice of her faith, Lola Falana exemplifies a deep commitment to spiritual growth and personal transformation. Through her poetry, motivational speaking and unwavering dedication to Roman Catholicism, she embodies a true testament to the power of faith and the pursuit of a higher calling. Lola Falana's journey serves as a remarkable testament to the resilience of the human spirit, reminding us that true fulfillment can be found not only in the spotlight, but also in the profound impact we make on others' lives and the connections we foster along the way. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.